you guys. So today's video is going to be some shopping life hacks. I've got nine shopping life hacks that you guys can use and maybe learn to do when you go shopping, make some money and some other stuff. So hack number one is, um, for discounts for students um, or certain jobs if you have a student ID with you. Um, for example, Lululemon offers 30% off of yoga or swim instructors. Um, so you can definitely take those up if you're a student and you're trying to save money. Uh, Number two is to search up Bath and Body Works um, coupons or coupons from any website in general. And most places, or specifically Bath and Body Works, issue um, out three coupons. And one of them happens to be a free $5 um, lotion with no purchases. So you can definitely check out a ton of different places offer, offer coupons um, quite frequently, whether it's each month or just like... Um, quite frequently they offer coupons so I know Michaels does and just like places in general so definitely check those online deals or on the sites you can definitely find coupons in there or any flyers they tend to have coupons hidden in there don't carry a shopping basket because it's proven you'll um, be leaving your cart behind and it tends to lead to less impact four is there's nothing worse than splurging on a pair of ripped jeans and then only for them to go on sale two weeks later. Have you ever had that? You're shopping and all of a sudden you buy something and two weeks later the thing you want to get is on sale. So however what you can do is bring your receipt in and most stores will refund your money um, with the difference. Is. So if you're wondering what the best time to shop online is, it is actually proven and research shows that Tuesdays and Fridays are when discounts are at their highest. So definitely if you're wanting to shop and get some discounts or some good clothes that are on sale, Tuesdays and Fridays are your days. Your old clothes, um, especially to H and M, you can get twenty percent off your purchase every time. So certain stores do this, um, specifically H and M, um, but sometimes even thrift stores do this. You donate and they give you discounts. So definitely check that out and is if you clean your history before going shopping um, some stores might sneakily hide coupons so basically on their site you if you clear your history before they hide the on varying um, pricing because based on your browsing patterns and demand um, so always make sure you clear your history and cookies before shopping so that you can get the best deals and stuff like that and I even find this sometimes like on Pinterest if you don't clear or like whatever you've been searching they're gonna relate it to what um, your feed is coming up so definitely do this even when you're shopping it's just is a point system and they are a great way to earn money back from your purchases. So for every purchase you make at your favorite store, points will rack up until you get discounts or um, gift cards until the next time. Not every store does this, but some do. And there are some apps that like Ebates that give you money back for shopping. So if you're wanting to earn some money back, um, you can definitely check them out and they do give some is to download your favorite stores and apps for extra coupons. Some stores have apps um, and they tend to put extra coupons on them. For example, Garage, when you sign up, um, you can get actually quite frequently some more discounts on the app. Um, and you can play games, especially on like Victoria's Secrets Pink app, and you'll be entered in to win like gift cards and even 20% off um, coupons. So if you um, do that, then you're more likely to find some more coupons. And I just find it helps. So I hope you guys enjoyed these nine shopping hacks. If you guys want me to do more hack videos or shopping videos or just some more hack stuff in general, be sure to let me know down below. Big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below. It's the first link and I will see you guys next time.